हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ गुनदीप सिंह ग्रोवर एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माई चैनल सो आई एम सॉरी फॉर मेकिंग अ वीडियो आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई वॉज ट्रैवलिंग सो कमिंग बैक सो आई गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ मेकिंग वीडियोज ऑन द लोकल क्लाइंट्स वी आर डीलिंग विद लाइक वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ लोकल एस सी ओ क्लाइंट्स इन यू एस एंड सो वी आर मोस्टली डीलिंग विद क्लाइंट्स लाइक प्लम्बिंग फेंसिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रेंटल सर्विसेज even medical services like a dentist a doctor a physiotherapist so a lot of these niches we are working into based on a city uh, level we are mostly working on so moving on so today video is i'm going to make on a uh, audit and how you can make a website uh, or rank a local seo website so we're going to take example of fencing in houston because recently we worked a lot of in a lot of issues we are working in houston so now my client want to expand into his, his fencing business into the houston so what kind of things we need to do it's a very important topic because you need to know that before creating the website or starting your local seo campaign a lot of things are need to be taken care of so in local seo there are two major things you need to focus on one is the google maps and other is the website both these things are very much important and if you do not have a map if we maybe you're making a lead generation website for a client or someone who is not having a local location there but there's a website so you can use the website in that case it's it's a myth that without the maps you cannot do local seo it's not like that i have been doing it since many years now so both are important but if you get a maps you get an edge of the search visibility that's one point but if you do not have your map coverage there you can still do local seo there i'll show you how so let's get into the video we need to if you do not have a web, uh, a map you just need to make a website and you do need to do local seo there are few steps you need to take a, take care of the first one is that just go and search the keyword in hrefs first of all so we've se selected united states so i'll just search that fencing it's a random search now just i'm starting like this because i need to show you how it works so it's a hard keyword that's fine i am going to into the keywords and just randomly checking what kind of people are what are the searches what kind of searches so now we can see a lot of categories so this is what you need to do now if you're dealing with a client or if you are a person who has a fencing business and you want to do local seo for your own business so first you need to see that what kind of services are you providing so for example metal fencing chain link fencing bamboo fencing all these services are written wire fencing do you have so like this you need to see now if you see if you're in houston for example and you need to maybe fencing you saw the difficulty is quite high it's 50 it's it's like quite difficult you were to rank on fencing in houston but you what you can do is that you can create pages for every uh, category like for example if i see this for example metal fencing it has just a, a difficulty of 5 and in local as you don't consider these volumes because in your city the volumes varies what you can get an idea from the cpc is that okay if there are cpcs that means it is competitive people are running ads but that's a good sign that means that you will also get business you you can also get leads there would be a search volume these are not accurate but this is how i get an idea for example geo fencing so this is another keyword this is not relating to fencing geo fencing is something else i know because this is something related to marketing but yes so now you need to know the understanding so what next what next i have made so a next. structure you can see on my screen so in this structure i have made this for this video like fencing contractor houston ya fencing companies houston this is going to be the primary keyword and i am going to put this on the home page why the reason is that this is the most broad level keyword i can think of when working with a fencing client or working for a fencing seo website locally so if i am going to rank on houston so fencing contractors houston fencing companies houston these two are the good keywords for me the client can tell which is the better one but i can i think these two keywords can be targeted both on the home page that's fine because these are very interrelated so we can do that thumbs up thumbs up to that moving on now if you see that i have divided uh, i have made a very small structure just for the understanding we can expand this to a very big structure so now the objective is to make topical authority in local seo in local seo if you are able to achieve a topical authority then hands on it's a very important thing to do so temporary fencing types of fencing fencing commercial residential these are the four parent categories or the pages you can create 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल गोइंग इन टाइप्स ऑफ फेंसिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल दीज आर द कैटेगरीज क्लाइंस इज डूइंग गार्डन वुडन मेटल चेनिंग बैम्बू वायर पी वी सी सो दीज आर टू बी देयर नाउ फेंसिंग एंड ट्रैक्टर ह्यूस्टन मे टेक अ वाइल टू रैंक बट वुडन फेंसिंग ह्यूस्टन कैन रैंक वेरी क्विकली बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली द कॉम्पिटिशन इज लो एंड इन लोकल एस यू हैव सीन पीपल आर रनिंग जस्ट फॉर द पेरेंट की वर्ड नो वन इज एक्चुअली गोइंग फॉर द स्पेसिफिक हाइपर लोकल की वर्ड आई एग्री द सर्च वॉल्यूम फॉर वुडन फेंसिंग ह्यूस्टन माइट बी क्वाइट लेस दैन फेंसिंग एंड ट्रैक्टर ह्यूस्टन बट देयर वुड बी सम सर्च वॉल्यूम लाइक एनी वन अ पर्सन लाइक मी हू जस्ट think as a customers a users perspective just come into the user shoes and think if i am maybe looking for a maybe pvc fencing i would search that so the intent goes really high if the volume is low but if someone is searching and the competition is obviously low because people are running after the parent keyword as i said so there is an opportunity that you can rank really quickly and you will get a very good lead so this is why i follow this kind of structure so commercial fencing for example now the client is doing a commercial fencing he is into commercial fencing so you can also also cover that like aluminum fencing all those things which are coming into commercial fencing you can like expand it and make a lot of other services which you there are in commercial fencing and same like residential privacy yard dog fencing so these are the keywords for your idea like this you need to expand like temporary fencing i have not expanded it i would uh, highly urge you guys if you seeing the video to like make a topical map map out of it and you can put it in the comment and i'll can review it for you so this is how it works so uh, temporary fencing a lot of things come into even there's a very very good niche related to this which is rent, uh, renting of fencing fencing rentals even you can make another site on this that's another that let's keep that for another video but moving on so like this faqs blogs and all these simple categories you can work on why i am doing this because i am making a topical authority and i highly urge the fencing contractors who are watching this video the people who have the fencing business or the seos who are watching this video to create a very big topical map you need to cover everything you need to give value like for example fencing mater- materials we are using you need to tell that how much does the fencing cost like like for like this you can have n number of he was like what do you use in pvc fencing what is the cost of wire fencing how much does the fencing last when do you need to recheck your fencing so like this a lot of keywords and a lot of blogs can be created and those blogs actually have a good search volume because people tend to search and look for information and that's a very low hanging fruit which you should definitely use and make your primary website the the lead generation website a better source of leads because when once i have seen this with my past experience once you have informative keywords traffic when you when you have traffic on informative keywords your website authority overall increases so overall it will help you rank in your primary keywords if you just make website and just you know putting services there's no point actually how do you how does google come to know or any search engine comes to know that what kind of services you are providing what kind of information you have what kind of like this is building trust actually so for, for building trust this is a very important step so you need to make sure you follow this moving on now let's go back and uh, let's now uh, audit few websites like now you've got an idea so i'll what i'll go to i'll go to google i'll just uh, first of all check okay maybe uh, same keyword so i'll fencing contractors because i have contractors houston okay okay so now 3 gmbs okay not much comp- there is a competition but not much okay that's fine okay so now we need to check these websites we'll open this one by one why this is important because you need to see the structure see google or any search engine likes anything or promotes anything which is uh, for which he is already familiar for example these websites have a structure which is liked so you need to check all the top 10 websites i am just doing three for the research purposes now see this is a very good example so as i as i just said before the video like this is now in front of you example is so much similar than what i just mentioned see they have mentioned all the service uh, all the kind of fencing they are doing and then there are testimonials there are what kind of team they have a quote pay like uh, lead generation uh, 
lead form there so they have a number that's a very important thing in in local SEO number and generating direct calls are very much important so see now comes the service area so this is very important you need to this is one of the fuel of local SEO once you are working in Houston you need to create a topical level authority on localized pages as well so one topical authority is for the services you have as we've just discussed the second is for all the areas you're into so now this person has made pages and if you see that's a very good thing which is followed if you see the url they are using houston as a parent and then there's a specific page for this specific uh, sub you can use a sub location or something so they are for, first of all they are following a hard silo structure which is my favorite because it's it is a very clear understanding that this is part of houston in one portion maybe of houston or one neighborhood of houston this is a specific page again very good page all the other things are linked to 20 years of experience so there's a branding there's you know putting up all the things you can so there are also they've also listed blogs and they've made videos so they're doing really good job here see again fencing permits irrigation considerations homeowners associates so they have a lot of information for the user that's good they're not updating it's a 2017 blog that's fine but still see their ranking they've created the topical authority that's the beauty of local seo once you're there you're there for a long time if you've done a good job so yeah this is a custom map i'll cover this in another video this is very important to do in local seo see again about the company uh, a lot of content for seo i know this seo focus but yes it's in the content but the, the seo person is smart he's put that below so user experience is not hampered everything comes up when a user is looking for but yes this is also there no one is reading it i don't know but yes this is there and it's creating an authority if you read it it's going to be a good content yes it, it makes sense i just read yes and then this is the number that's okay so similarly now see fencing types what kind of fencing types they are providing fencing services let me just open and check this page okay so here they have a page of fencing services okay that's fine that's again creating uh, that's kind of silo page but i think they should not make this page because they already have the home page targeted to that so that can dilute the authority so when you check the top uh, 10 5 websites not everything would be perfect so that that's what you get an edge of so you pick up everything which is perfect you need to understand the structurization and what you need to do you need to have that seo based knowledge and then find mistakes or problem in these websites and then you need to cover those in a better way that's how there's a chance of you getting ranked if everything is perfect then no one can come right but it's not like that seo is not like that there's always a room of improvement that's how seo works okay moving on checking the other website okay again experience this is like uh, brand value they're giving okay fencing company in Houston, so they're using an lsi keyword they are like uh, manipulated the keyword in a way that the other keyword like fencing company i search for fencing contractors because company is also optimized for the same page and that's a good way because it's almost a similar keyword i would do the same thing again see they have all the categories they're working on okay that's a good why choose fencing okay our reputation all the similar materials used this is very good like you need this is personalized so in the in the in the in the era of ai how do google or any search engine differentiates between you and an ai website i don't i'm not against the ai websites even i use it a lot for a lot of things but you need to be personalized when you are you need to tell them that see ai cannot tell that what kind of material this person is using or a fencing contractor is using so these kinds of hidden low hanging fruits i have been using a lot for my websites this personalized data helps a lot in making that kind of authority so yeah reviews amazing see now the footer is very important so fencing mid see that material they're using what kind of things they're doing fencing types so this this is a very good example so materials kind uh, fencing divided by the material they have different kind of silo and types they have different kind of uh, silo for like privacy pool security precast so out of these i think we used a lot in our structure so this is how you do so now whenever you're looking at these you need to add this in your structure and then if you're working for a client you need to ask him what kind of services he or she is providing and if it's your own lead generation website then you need to see that what kind of 
association you have with a fencing contractor that what you can provide and what not you can provide because just putting everything doesn't make sense you need to put what actually you do and what you do best because i think that's you do not get overwhelmed with the things that's that's very important so uh, see this is another website okay so they've made these favicons i think i like it and they are going to the specific pages if i see they are going to the sign up pages they should if they go to the specific pages that would make more sense okay see this is good wooden fencing so they have all the sub categories of wooden fencing what do you think this is very important for creating local authority now this person this contractor has different types of wooden fencing so for wooden if you select they have all the categories and types of fencing they've done as a user this makes a lot of trust that this guy has so indirectly this person is showing the portfolio right commercial they have different kinds of fencing again and the person is showing it wrought iron fencing again they have all the you know different kind of types so as trust i think i would trust this much this as the most trusted website why because i can see they've done a lot of work and a lot of images by images it's very clear that what kind of fencing is this what kind of work they're going to do so think like that think like a user so now if i tell my client if i if i follow the technical structure i think for this technical structure it was very sorted if i think about the design and what kind of website i'm going to make i think i'm going to add this and let's check the other website again this is good like this has a lot of uh, portfolio there again all the categories are there this is again a very good thing they have uh, different pages for this this is again good so this is another a good website so see you need to see the top 10 websites and then you need to think that what services you provide and you need to make a follow up proper follow up structure this is how the fencing works this is a very quick and small video if you want to get into detail about more about fencing contractors and fencing clients and fencing seo i am there for you put your comments let's make another video where i'll go in detail about the gmb stay tuned for that and do like and subscribe and support me because i can make a lot of videos on these topics in the next video if if there's a demand i'll create a video then how to do map seo so this was a basic a very basic on how you do the website seo but this is very important what you've just learned because this is the base of everything after that how to if there's a requirement i'll make a video that how to make topical authority in detail and then we can make another video on the maps and then that's how we'll complete the whole fencing seo thank you guys thank you so much keep liking and keep supporting me I am really overwhelmed with the response I've got. I'm very happy. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone. Stay tuned for the next video.